United are flying at the moment, most recently beating Spanish giants Barcelona 4-3 on aggregate in the Europa League playoffs. The Red Devils will now focus on domestic assignments this week and as they look to end their six-year trophy drought. The Carabao Cup will be up for grabs when Manchester United and Newcastle United meet in the final at Wembley on Sunday. Manchester United entered the Carabao Cup in the third round, beating Aston Villa 4-2. Since then, the Red Devils have not conceded a single goal, getting past Burnley, Charlton Athletic and Nottingham Forest in the last three stages. On the other hand, Newcastle United endured a more taxing run to the final. They started by getting past Tranmere Rovers 2-1 in the second round before beating Crystal Palace on penalties. Bournemouth and Leicester City did not trouble in Newcastle much in the next two stages, but the Magpies were in trouble for a while against Southampton before clenching a 3-1 aggregate win in the semi-finals. But in Newcastle United's recent results, have not been impressive as they have slipped up in the Premier League and the three consecutive winless results have sent them out of the top four. On the other hand, Manchester United might be the potential dark horse in the title race while beating Barcelona in the UEFA Europa League this week, so momentum is one of the factors favouring the Red Devils. Manchester United and Newcastle United have played each other once this season, playing out a goalless stalemate at Old Trafford in October. Eric Ten Hag has a new injury concern, hampering his preparations ahead of the Carabao Cup final. Against Newcastle United on Sunday, the Manchester United manager might be barefoot of the services of four first-team players. The Dutch tactician is switching over the fitness of Marcus Rashford, who sustained an ankle issue against Barcelona, and Ten Hag is unsure if Rashford will be fit enough to start against Newcastle United, but Donny van de Beek, Christian Eriksen and Anthony Martial will not be available on Sunday. Alejandro Garnacho will likely start on the left flank if Rashford is not fit enough to start, but the Englishman might feature in the 11, with Anthony replacing Jadon Sancho in the attack. The duo will be the wide attackers for Manchester United, with Wout Weghorst leading the line. Rashford, Weghorst and Bruno Fernandes will combine to create a fluid offensive unit, but Bruno Fernandes will be the creative supremo for Manchester United when he reprises the number 10 role. He will also drop deep in the defensive phase. Fred has been exceptional alongside Casimiro in the last few games, and the two Brazilian midfielders will likely combine in the double pivot again. So Marcel Sabitzer will find himself on the bench for a second successive game. While Casimir will break up play and distribute the ball, Fred's ghosting runs will be the X factor. As for the defensive unit, Rafael Varane, Lissandro Martinez and Luke Shaw pick themselves. Varane and Martinez will form a solid central defensive partnership and Shaw will be the workhorse on the left flank. Meanwhile, Diogo Dalo should peep Aaron Wan-Bissaka to the right back berth. Finally, there is no looking past David De Gea between the sticks. Probable lineup for Man United, De Gea, Dalo, Varane, Martinez, Shaw, Casimiro, Fred, Anthony, Bruno Fernandez, Rashford, and Weghorst. For Newcastle, Carius, Trippier, Fabian Scher, Sven Botman, Burn, Longstaff, Guimarães, Joe Linton, Miguel Almiron, Callum Wilson, Alain Samaxima. Key stats. Manchester United vs Newcastle United will be the 19th fixture to have been played as both a League Cup and an FA Cup final. These clubs met in the 1999 FA Cup final, with the Red Devils winning 2-0 to secure the second part of their historic Premier League, FA Cup and the Champions League treble. Manchester United have won two of their three League Cup meetings within Newcastle, with this the first since a 2-1 home win in September 2012. Newcastle United will be competing in the League Cup final for the first time since 1976, with the gap of 47 years the longest between finals in League Cup history. The Magpies have lost their last four major finals in 74, 98 and 99 FA Cup finals, 76 League Cup final, since a 6-2 aggregate win in the 69 First Cup final against Hungarian side Ejbset. Manchester United are in their 10th League Cup final, with only Liverpool 13, 
ever playing in more. Only Liverpool 9 and Manchester City 8 have won the trophy more often than the Red Devils 5. Meanwhile, only Arsenal 6 and Tottenham 5 have lost more League Cup finals than Manchester United 4. Newcastle United have lost their last 8 matches at Wembley, the longest ever losing run by a team at Wembley in history. Their most recent win at the stadium was in the 1955 FA Cup final against Manchester City, 67 years and 295 days since the date of this game. Since the 2009-2010 season, when Eddie Howe first managed in the League Cup, no manager has more wins in the competition than him, 22 level with Pep Guardiola. He is looking to become the first Englishman to win the League Cup since Steve McLaren in 2003-2004 with Middlesbrough. Marcus Rashford has been involved in 18 goals in his last 15 appearances in the League Cup, scoring 12 and assisting 6 this season. Alone, he has 5 goals and 2 assists in 5 games, averaging a direct contribution every 40 minutes in the competition this term. Prediction Manchester United 2, Newcastle 1. Newcastle will come into the Carabao Cup final against Manchester United while rested. In contrast, the Red Devils were in midweek action and endured a taxing outing versus Barcelona, so the Magpies have an advantage on the fatigue front and should have better endurance, but Manchester United might have the edge if Marcus Rashford regains enough fitness to start. The Englishman is the most informed player in the world and will be the biggest game changer on Sunday. Hopefully, we will win tomorrow and the glory glory Man United.